Dr. David McClendon is the political science chairman at William Peace University in Raleigh. Thanks for being on the show. Glad to be with First you. First time in a long time. It has been. Uh, what does a gay marriage amendment referendum do to a primary ballot in May 2012? Well, it could do a number of things. First of all, before the primary ballot gets here, there's going to be a tremendous amount of attention in North Carolina from out of state, a lot of money coming in. Let me give you some perspective. 2008, $100 million was spent in three states for a similar ballot initiative, California and Arizona being the two prominent ones. So we're going to have a lot of attention in North Carolina. The Republican ballots all could be pretty interesting depending on how the presidential prim uh, primaries go before that. It could be wrapped up, might not be. But nonetheless, it's going to bring a lot of social conservatives out. Um, now, the Democrats, they're the real interesting ones. They may not have a very interesting primary year. I don't see one on the horizon for Barack Obama. I don't see one for uh, Beverly Perdue. So uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of people out who may not have already come out, uh, particularly if the Republican primary is wrapped up. Now, heading in as of now, they're going to prepare the ballots. We've got a several months between now and May of 2012. At what point would North Carolinians start to see the media campaigns, the ad blitzes? Well, you're going to start seeing probably after the first of the year. I mean, uh, the holidays certainly not going to be a lot of uh, ads and things like that. But first of the year, I and mean, it's going to really be ramping up as we get into March and April. You know, both sides are going to be spending a lot of money. There's going to be lobbying efforts, you know, in all kinds of ways, websites and all kinds of uh, media blitz. How do you see the pitches going if you're someone who is proposing this amendment? Well, they're going to be very nostalgic about uh, marriage and, and going to show it visually, you know, a very traditional couple. They're going to make references to the Bible. Uh, it, it's very much an appeal to the, the real social conservative base here, which is based in religion. On the other side, you're going to see basically appeals to equality. I mean, you're going to say, okay, we have the 14th Amendment to the Constitution guaranteeing equality. It may, may make references to racial justice, back to the Civil Rights Movement. This is, could be a continuation of that. So I think you're going to see very clear messages on both sides targeting just trying to really get people emotionally involved in the issue. Do you see the grassroots ultimately deciding this issue one way or the other just based on turnout, or will it be just a hot enough primary that you would say a snapshot of the average North Carolina voter will be exposed in this primary vote? Well, I think just because of the potential for how much money could be spent on advertising and other kinds of communications, you know, we could see people who normally would not be primary voters kind of get revved up. And so, uh, you know, to me, you know, I think it's going to be a, a big turnout. Um, and it's going to be the kind of thing where the grassroots efforts are going to be very important. I mean, you're going to have to get churches involved. They're going to be bringing buses to the polls like you would not normally see in a primary election. You're going to see equality groups doing the same thing and on the other side. Do you see the politicians at the state level staying involved in this issue or do they throw it out to the advocacy groups and say, we've passed this bill or we fought this bill, now go pass the amendment or defeat the amendment? I think the sponsors of the legislation are going to stay prominent, um, but I think the many of the legislators, for example, the governor, is probably going to stay in the background. It's just simply a hot button issue, and it, the governor's already going to be involved in a, in a heavy duty campaign at that point, and that she's got to focus in on jobs and the economy, the kind of pocketbook issues. Don't know if she wants to get involved in that. The other people in the General Assembly you even heard their comments this week. You know, not a lot of enthusiasm for the rank and file, but from the social conservative Tea Party leaning people, a lot of enthusiasm. Dr. David McLennan, political science chairman, Wigan Peace University. Thank you, sir. Great to be with you.